Hey guys, my name is Anthony and in today's video, I'm going to be talking over round 10 at pull record for TSRL. So if you want to see more videos similar to this and you're new to the channel, hit the um, subscribe button because we post Lee Grayson yeah, content Frostmaster very regularly button, on the channel money, and make sure to hit the like button as well. Just to let me know that you guys are still enjoying this content and you still want me to make this type of content. So moving on now, again, this is the second race at pull record and honestly, between WOR and TSRL, there wasn't really much of a difference in terms of my confidence through quality as you can see we go a little bit wide and invalidate our first lap and just we just really couldn't hook up a lap no matter how much practice I did I just wasn't confident in my quality abilities around this track as it's getting a little bit darker now for the second lap and we go wide at the exact same place and that's because it was going to be raining in this quality session so moving on to the end of the second lap I did want to do a third one but it had already started raining and I hadn't set a time at this point. So that was pretty much quality over for us. We wasn't going to be able to set a time. And luckily for us, there were some other people who didn't set a time as well. So we start in P11. As you can see, there was only 13 drivers for this race because the attendance on TSR or uh, tier three isn't really that great. So we only usually get about 13 to 15 people on, every, on any given race day. So moving on to the actual race track now, we've got a medium to hard strategy we're going to be doing the exact same one as WOR so we've got four lights five lights and away we go as the lights took a little bit longer as it did in WOR but we've got a pretty decent start compared to what we did there and honestly I felt as if we could have been the quickest medium tire runner if we had just managed to set a pretty decent lap time in so there was a lot more overtakes I really needed to make going into this race and honestly I wasn't really happy about qualifying because I had to make as many overtakes because starting in P11 when I could have started in P7 that's four more overtakes than I really wanted to make especially since I wanted to be the quickest person on the on the medium tires I wanted to be the person in the lead on the alternate strategy so we had a lot of work to do and as we try to cover off the racing point uh, who's going down the inside of us now we end up going on the outside of the Williams and he sort of has to cut us off in order to get onto the line again so we had to slow down the car a little bit but at this point I knew he was on the medium tires I had to get past him so I made short work I would try to make short work anyway of him as we go down the inside here but he manages to stay on the outside of our car going into the long right hander so since we had the inside line it was obviously going to benefit us but then he manages to get on the outside going into the left hander so the Williams definitely put up a fight going into this first lap but it wasn't enough when we managed to get past him now so there was only a few more medium runners i think we really needed to pass as we move on to lap three now as uh, the the mclaren here makes a mistake coming off the long right hander so we managed to get past him fairly easily and then i think the racing point of days i think he's going into the pit so he's doing a two-stop strategy around here which i don't know i didn't think that the two-stop strategy would really work out for some of these people because Again, you know, a lot of the people are doing one stops. So right now we're behind Clays, who is the lead runner on the medium tires. And he makes a mistake going into the left hander of sector three. So at this point, I thought, okay, he's making mistakes. Maybe his tires are starting to die a little bit quicker than mine. As you can see, he drifts around that corner. So I decide this is it. This is my chance to make the move and be the be the lead car on the alternate strategy and i think the only person ahead of me now is jozu who is on the soft tires he took those soft tires a long way to be fair because the soft tires i would usually pit around i think lap six maybe lap seven and he pitted i think at the end of lap eight so he did take those tires pretty long so i'm assuming that his tire management was pretty good and that ended up giving him quite a big benefit going into the end of the race but as you can see now we're just going through the laps now just pushing on those medium tires to try and make sure that we get as close to the guys who are on the softer hard strategy as possible so that we can catch them up moving on into the second stint and then at the end of lap 11 this is when i decided to pit going for the undercut but clays decided to go into the pits as well i wanted to try the undercut because in wor i had the chance for the undercut and i didn't take it so i wanted to see if i could do the undercut but sadly clays went in so i guess we're not really gonna find out whether or not the undercut would have worked out for me 
But yeah, that was a pretty good stint. Um, at this point in time, I was just looking at the leaderboards just to see where Jozu was going to be. And I think he's coming right about now. Oh no, he's already past us. And it's actually the Ferrari who also gets past us. But as you can see, he's on the soft tyre, so he has to be doing a two-stop as well. So I decided to try and make as short work as I can, especially since Dazed was behind me on those medium tyres. And then finally on lap 13, now this is when I finally managed to make the overtake on him so as we get a pretty good de exit on these hard tires i'm actually surprised that we managed to get an exit like that considering he was on the soft tires we end up trying to go down the inside but he defends the position we move back on the outside and we make the overtake stick it was going to be fairly easy to make that overtake considering that we had drs and at this point now i just wanted to push as much as i can to try and catch up to jozu who was the lead runner on the soft to hard strategy so he was obviously going to be in first place once the guys on the second on the two stop sorry strategy ended up hitting so he's the person i wanted to catch up with and i eventually managed to catch up with him on lap 19 as he makes a mistake coming out of the final corner we decide to make the move with drs and now we are in the lead so we've gone from p11 to a net p1 so honestly we're doing incredible right now uh again it was just the confidence in terms of our race pace i did make a lot more of mistakes so i definitely could have gotten out of the drs zone by lap 22 but sadly we didn't and jozu ends up overtaking us again i decide there's no point in fighting it because we've still got five laps to go before the end of the race so there's no point in battling now we might as well have just waited until the final couple of laps that's when we can start battling so i decided to just leave it let him go past and try and save ers and then moving on to lap 26 now we're at the final couple of laps i decided to overtake him here and at this point i'm not 100 percent sure if i made the right decision here i don't think i did make the right decision here i probably should have waited until the next lap to overtake him because then i would have had a little bit more ers and a little bit more fuel to really push for that final sector but we decided to overtake him here anyway so now we've got around about a lap and a half to really defend this position for the lead as Jozu tries to go down the inside of the right hander here as we squeeze him off a little bit so we make our intentions known that we're definitely going to be defending this position for the win and at this point I was pretty nervous actually because again I've never won a league race before and we're only one lap away from winning our first league race so I was very very nervous here and the car didn't really feel as good as it did in WOR for some reason I don't know it just felt really twitchy on exits and the setup is exactly the same I never changed it so I don't know maybe it was just the way I was driving on the day it was a bit different I, I really can't tell you but again going into this last lap now I was really cautious as well because I think I was one penalty off of getting nine seconds, uh, sorry, one warning off of getting nine seconds of penalties. So I wanted to try and keep it clean on this last lap to try and not get those nine seconds because at the time, I think Jozu had three seconds or I thought he had three seconds and I'm not exactly how much time penalties Clay had at this point because I couldn't check. So I just wanted to try and just push as much as I can and just try and get as far out as I can and try and not get another penalty because if I got another penalty just in case he did have six seconds worth of penalties then it would have ruined my chance of winning this race so as we're using up all the fuel now at this point I actually had to go back down to standard because we we're pretty much running out of fuel I didn't want to go into low fuel mode so Jozu took this opportunity to go down the inside I went a little bit too wide here I tried to get the switch back going but he he defended pretty nicely and at this point in time I thought okay uh, there's probably one more opportunity if he makes a mistake at the final corner like he did on lap 20 then I could have I could overtake him there but sadly he didn't make a mistake going into this final corner as you can see we did get a pretty decent exit but so did he so we didn't have enough to overtake him on track and at this point I thought maybe Clays didn't have that many penalties so we would have been in third place but as we crossed the finish line we were just one and a half temps away from winning I'm our in. first league race and you can see it on my face even though we had went from p11 to p2 it still wasn't enough because i was still looking for that race win and just to be a tenth and a half away from getting that win was it was pretty disappointing to be honest you could see oh, my I'm face in. i'm smiling but at oh, the I'm same time that. i've got I'm my head in my that. hands because i was just 
that I was so close from getting my league my first league race win so pretty disappointed about that but at the same time we still went from P11 to P2 we showed a pretty convincing display of our skills around this track even though I didn't really feel all that confident we were definitely the quickest car out there and we proved it by putting on a pretty good display so I'm gonna leave the video here if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button and stick around by subscribing to the channel and I'll see you guys in my next obviously